You know, people that got diagnosed with Parkinson's just gave up, just kind of sat in a wheelchair and refused to get up. I'll never give up. But someday this will, this will probably take me, but I'm, never, I'm not going to walk. Walk away from life. The future's not pretty. It's tough stuff. Parkinson's patients are not going to get better. They're only going to get worse. Our choice is not to live in the future. Our choice is to live today. It's remarkable. It's absolutely remarkable what he shows other people that can be done with somebody with his disabilities. But you can't even call him a disability as far as he's concerned. Basically, when you think about Larry, I don't think you think about the handicap. You think about the courage and the tenacity that he has in going about his business and sharing with people what he has to share. You know, it's like he's doing aerobics all day long. I don't know how he gets up in the morning. He has to just be exhausted, you know. It's just, but he does it. He gets on that bike and he gets in here and uh, I think he looks forward to coming in here and, and seeing everyone. And we look forward to seeing him. He's just, just a kind soul. I think he kind of makes you want to say, hey, if he can do what he's doing, you know, if something would happen to me, maybe I should be able to do the same thing. Yeah. Well, one time I saw Larry riding his bike and reading a book at the same time. And <laughs> For me, he's helped me open up a lot. Like, I get embarrassed very easily. Um, and he's like, you just gotta brush it off. You gotta not pay attention to it. Don't worry about the other people. Worry about what you think, you know, of yourself and not what they think. So that makes me feel a little better. He he touches everybody. If you talk to anybody in this town that has met Larry or knows Larry, they you, you feel like there was one person you could meet in this world. You were so grateful to Larry Smith because he's he's a treasure, you know. Well, we've been setting our artificial limits to myself. Because it's telling, it's, I'll be telling myself what I can't do. I'd rather attack all these problems with the, what I can do attitude. Well, I know, folks. Has to decide your wheelchairs and your walkers. If you can, join me. And join me for the right, at the right of your life. I understand, I understand it, the challenge. You both to them. Well, I'll challenge them in ways they can't imagine. But I can guarantee a pretty good time. And, uh, this is good for Parkinson's disease.
finding her cure. Jeff, that's what we all want. A cure. What's not to love about Larry? <laughs> Larry fights every day of his life to stay active and to keep up because life is fun. You know, fun is really, I think, underrated in Parkinson's disease. If you love life and you have a life that you love, you'll fight for it. Can I get your autograph sometime, Larry? <laughs> sure.